Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick reaction to the Switzerland and Russia game that Team Russia was able to capture by a score of four to two, where Matvey Mishkov um had another goal crashing the net, showing his silky scoring hands, being able to get it over the pads of the goaltender so far in close of Kevin Posh, who played an absolutely fantastic game overall and was the player of the game for Team Switzerland and was absolutely the reason why Team Switzerland, and now shot 32 to 18, was able to um stay in the game and then also have a little bit of a push in that third period, particularly a couple changes in the power play, hit a couple crossbars. Could have been a different game if, say, hey, some of them went in. Uh, they were able to capture two goals, though, where offense was an issue for them last year. I believe it was like five total goals they scored last year, maybe six. So to have two in their first game, uh, that's a fantastic start for them. Um, but when it came to Russia, <clears throat> a top draft prospect, Danila Yurov, who started off a little bit slow in Russia, um, just like Brad Lambert started off slow in his league, got off like a bat out of hell for Finland. Um, that is what Daniela Yorov is doing for Russia as he was able to open up the scoring uh, with a sniper that, w or with a snapper, excuse me, that went in off of a skate past the aforementioned goaltender Kevin Pash, who's a very good technically sound goaltender, moves well, old school 5'11 goaltender since you usually see the 6'3 uh, or like 6'4, 6 6'2, 6 I would say bigger goaltenders. Um, so. It's nice to see a guy like him have great keen success. Dmitry Zaldayov, the player of the game for Russia, was able to pot one Russia second on a nice job following his own shot as it went off the post. He followed it around. Kevin Posh was not able to pick up the shot. Um, and then um, he was able to put it in on a wrister and pot it on his wrist shot. And then Potvel Tutnev. Uh, was able to pot Russia's third on a turnaround shot in the slot on a broken play that went off of a skate of the Swiss, and then they were able to get <clears throat> the puck in front as Tutyev was uh, Johnny on the spot, or Pavel on the spot, as he was then able to turn around and shoot it and fire it on goal, where then Switzerland was able to answer at the end of the first period and have one answering goal by Antilio Biaxa um, that... Um, Gushkov would definitely want back, uh, Yeager Gushkov would definitely want that one in, uh, back that went in on Antilio Biaxa because it really kind of just went through him, um, again, similar to the Niederbach goal, uh, he allowed when they played Sweden, uh, that's a goal we want back, but overall, Yeager Gushkov played a good game, made a couple really nice saves in this game, so he did play a solid game, I still think Askarov's the goal you want to roll for if you're Russia, but uh, Igor Gushkov definitely played a solid game, getting his first World Juniors win, earning that first World Juniors win, uh, making a couple nice saves, and then getting, of course, some post luck as well. <clears throat> and then uh, when it comes to Russia, there was no goals in the second, but in the second there was a highlight play as Kevin Pash, after making a great first save, then as the puck comes back around in front um, on another shot, makes a diving save on Matvey Mishkov, um, in the second period, one of the best scorers in the entire tournament, uh, Pash is showcasing himself um, to North American scouts as he's able to make a diving save and one of the best scorers and be the player of the game for his team as well. And then Fabian Richman, who looks solid overall in this game, um, was able to get a deflection goal in front as uh, Dahlia, Dario Allenspach. Uh, was able to turn around and fire it on net. And then Maximilian also got the assist on that one. Uh, Richmond did look solid in this game. Uh, probably going to catch some scout size as well, looking solid in this game. But on top of um, Team Russia just coming out and playing the game they would want to play, they had their offense play well again. They were able to capture four goals, of course. And they were able to, uh, you want to probably play a little bit um <clears throat> you don't want to give teams power plays that are better than Switzerland in the third period to give them a chance to come back. The Swiss are obviously a very good team, a very good defense um, with Zanetti, with Liam Bixel, uh, with Dario Sidler and others, but they're not the most potent scoring team. So you're not going to want to give better teams that, that are the potent scoring teams those chances like the Swedens, the Canadas, the USAs, obviously. But they live to tell about it in this one. Um, they had a great overall game. They were the uh, more potent team, obviously, overall in this game. But it was nice to see Switzerland be able to show some fight and show some spunk all the way to the end, have the even shots in the last period when they were getting spanked in shots, the first two. 
and then to be able to get a goal at the end by Richmond to really just so fight to the end. Uh, the, the, the Swiss team definitely shows a lot of spunk, um, a lot of good defensive play. They have a very good goaltender in Posh. Uh, it's just about figuring out the scoring for them, which has always been the bugaboo um, for uh, the Swiss team, it is figuring out that scoring. But um, overall, I thought Brian Zanetti, the Flyers prospect, uh, the lone current prospect, for Switzerland, played very well in 1823 of ice time. Liam Bixell, a top defense prospect, big boy, skates well, doesn't even know, like they said in the broadcast, the full effect of what he can do. Uh, played over 20 minutes, and then the captain, Dario Siddler, is trying to make his name felt to people. Uh, played 24-29 um, for Switzerland. This was a good building block first game for Switzerland. They, of course, didn't play a prelim game either, so this was their first action, so it was a good solid first start for them, and a great game for Russia to be able to rebound after losing their first. I hope you all enjoyed this recap of Russia beating Switzerland 4-2. to two. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the World Juniors, and as always, please continue to subscribe down below to show the love and support, and help us get to 185 by the new year. Happy New Year, and happy holidays, everybody.